your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Showers continue to roll into our area, and that'll be the case through the night. We have more rain down the road as well. Let's take a look at what's happening. Uh, live radar, you see that smattering of showers working through the region. They extend all the way back into uh, New York City, into New Jersey, and into Pennsylvania. Probably be uh, with us through much of the night, and even into our Monday morning commute, but not overly impactful. In fact, they should be ending during the commute. Threat tracker for tonight, Monday, Tuesday, low chance of anything severe. It's a live look at Narragansett. We have some decent visibility here, but we have had some showers come on through during the night. Live look at Newport, still good visibility here with a few light showers over the last couple of hours. 47 degrees. They have a wind from the east northeast, 10 miles an hour at the moment. You can see these showers again all the way back back into Pennsylvania and uh, even some more steadier rain just offshore. It's associated with this area of low pressure. It's going to be passing pretty far off to our south and east, but coming close enough that we're seeing some showers working through southern New England during the overnight. Let's take a close look at it. Hour by hour forecast. We'll see these scattered showers kind of coming to an end early tomorrow morning and then by noontime we're mostly dry maybe even a few breaks of sunshine during the afternoon but still lots of clouds into Monday evening so Monday morning looks like this starting off with a shower still around nothing terribly widespread and then we'll begin to dry out as we head into uh, the late morning and into the uh, uh, early afternoon let's pinpoint the afternoon for you temperatures should be topping out about 58 in Charlestown 58 now again. It's the same for Wickford, Newport, and Tiverton. Lots of clouds, probably mostly dry during the afternoon. Mid 50s in Woonsocket, Johnston, Cumberland, Lincoln down into Providence, Cranston and Warwick, East Providence down to Bristol. Mid to upper 50s, few splashes of sun certainly possible in northern Rhode Island tomorrow. 58, Fall River, Freetown, New Bedford, all in the upper 50s. Wouldn't surprise me out here if there's a stray shower around in the afternoon, but I think most of the afternoon will be dry. Here's that seven day forecast. Let's go through this on Tuesday. Very a uh, slight chance of a shower, but I think most of the day is dry. Take a look at the rain chances. It goes down to zero in the afternoon. Temperatures through the uh, day getting into the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Wednesday looks like a really nice day. Sunshine about 55. On Thursday, we're looking at a chilly rain to develop, but uh, could be left of a uh, tropical system coming into the Gulf of Mexico. Moisture comes up here. Rain perhaps developing late morning, continuing through the afternoon, and uh, maybe some gusty winds as well late in the afternoon and evening on Thursday. Now that rain continues into Friday. Look what we have here for Friday. Long way out, but it's interesting to know some of the higher elevations north and west of Providence could be looking at uh, that rain and drizzle ending as some wet snowflakes, and then drying out in the afternoon. Right now, Halloween weekend looks okay with sunshine, but chilly, upper 40s to mid 50s. Full seven day forecast always at WPRI.com. Next in